Hello, I'm Manju from Team Celice. Celice is a Python library for CDR data analysing. It supports call, message, and cell datasets. It can be used to analyze user records, home or work locations, visualize population, track user paths, and so much more. Go to pip, search for Celice. Copy the command, go to command prompt, since I have two versions, I just install, install for pip3 and I have already installed it. Celice consists of few main parts, IO is for dataset input and dataset writing functions. In core, there are major classes and functionalities of the library. User, call, message, cell are the major classes. In visualization file, all the graph and map visualization functions are developed. Utils and tools are used to help the library. Using the library GUI, users can interact with the library. IO part is done by Dinit. User and call dataset classes are done by Vagesha. Message and cell datasets are developed by me, Anju. GUI is developed by Malik. IO file consists of three main functions read call, read message, read cell, which are used to import datasets. Default file type is set to CSV and it also can handle Excel and JSON file types. Then it goes to a filtering process which detects bad records, corrupted data types, etc. In co file, there are a few main classes. Record classes are used to save a row in the dataset. The attributes are field names of the dataset. Dataset class has child classes, cell, and cell call message dataset classes. Cell dataset has a call dataset as an attribute, and dataset object has record objects as attributes. And there is a user class which are using cell dataset and call dataset. In visualization, there are functions used to visualize graphs and maps. Network graph function gives a directed graph of which user has connected to whom. Active time bar chart shows a bar graph of calls or messages recorded with time. Cell population generates a map of population of the users. View home work location is also a map to plot home and work locations of a given user. Trip visualization function is to visualize the path of a given user in a map. It shows at what time where was the user and his route. In utils file, there are helping functions to the user who is using the library, like printing datasets in a tabular format or printing matrices or dictionaries. In tools file, there are date and time related functions, color handlers, metrics related functions and other helping functions for the code. I am Dinet and in our system IO part is assigned to me. I will go through the functionalities of the IO file. This is to JSON and to CSV function. User should input the dataset object and file name to both of both functions. It returns JSON or CSV file as it is. In the slide, there are three main functions such as read call, read message, and read cells. These are the functions. In these cases, user can specify the file path and file types, otherwise, system should read it as CSV file default type. According to the file type, code will flow through read XLS and read JSON files. These are that functions. In above functions, system reads data and store them as list of dictionaries and also get the field names. According to the call message cell, code will flow through create call object, create message object, and create cell object functions. These are the functions. In these functions, system split the data and create call records, message records, cell record objects. Then it appends to list and 
that list go through parsing and filtering functions. These four functions are the parsing and filtering functions. In the filter functions, it check whether that input are incorrect type and inputs are not null. Then incorrect records appends to bad record list and other record appends to new filtered list. And these three are the helping functions. Thank you. Import CLS library. Using the read call and read tail functions in the IO module, read the call CSV file and the antenna CSV file. Create user object using the call data set and cell data set and the contact number of the user. The first functionality is getting user home and work locations. The system will return the approximate location of the user home and work location and also we can get the cell ID of these locations. The library has the functionality to visualize the home and work location of the user on the map. We can customize the work start and end time of the user and get different work location and home location. As you can see here, the work location of the user has changed. Next functionality is getting ignored calls of a user and tabulate data in a 2D table. First, import the slice library. Using the read call function in the IO module, read call csv file. The first functionality is get all unique users of the call dataset. Second functionality is get all connected users of a selected user. Next method is get call records between two selected users in dictionaries. Using the print dataset functionality, we can tabulate all the call records in a 2D table. To visualize connection between all users, we can use this next method, print connection matrix. We can also visualize this table as a connection network using the visualize connection network method and get the weighted directed graph. Next method is get cross contacts of a selected user which returns dictionary of cross contacts. We, we can also display the top contacts in the 2D table. Using this next method, get most active time of a user, the system will return a dictionary of hours and respective number of calls made in that hour of the day. This can be visualized using a bar chart. Last functionality is get ignored call details of a selected user. This can be tabulated into a 2D list and display on the notebook. Let's look at the message demo notebook. Import Cellizer. Give the message dataset path and Cellizer returns a message dataset object. Also, two records were removed due to incomplete fields in the reading process. And also we can print out the dataset and we can get all the users in the dataset. And using this function, we can get all the users connected to a given user. And by giving two users, we can get the records of the given two users. And also we can visualize the connection between all the users. For example, this user and this user has four connections. We can also visualize the connection in a graph. For example, this user has sent one message to this user and this user has sent two messages to this user. Let's look at the cell demo notebook. Input both call and cell datasets, then you can use cell class functions. You can get population around each cell and visualize them, them in a map. If we visualize them in a map, we can see in this location there are two users recorded as their home location and this place only one. In trip visualization, we can track the path of a given user. It returns a list of user records with time, duration, and location, which we can use to track its path. If we visualize the path in a map, clicking on pin, we can get the date of date and time of the user had been recorded there. In this place, 
Yusei has been recorded 11 times, so we can assume it is a special place for him, like home location. And these places are just one-time visits. These two places, which are recorded 3 and 4 times, are frequently, frequently visited places, maybe his working locations. And also with the red color card, we can identify how he went from where to where. This is the Celizer GUI, which can be used by anyone who doesn't know coding. We can insert the dataset. Let me insert whole data. And we can get all the available functionalities of the whole dataset. We can show all the data. We can show all the users. We can show connected users to a given user. We can get call records between two selected users. We can get close contacts of a selected user. I get part of contacts. We can get ignored call details of a selected user. We can generate the active time graph. In the 7th hour, the user had 2 calls and in the 8th hour, user had 3 calls. And we can visualize connection between all the users. These are the message dataset functions. We can show the dataset. We can show all the users. We can show all the connected users to a specific user. We can get two uh, we can get records of two selected users. We can visualize the connection between all the users. I have previously inserted both call and cell datasets. And these are the cell dataset functions. We can show all the data in the dataset. And we can get records of a specific cell. We can get popularization around each cell. And we can visualize the trip of a given user. The user has started from here, there, there, like this. As you saw, we have developed all the main functional requirements given in the requirement specification. These are the functional requirements given in SRS with the page number and we have developed all of them. Also, we have maintained many coding standards like file and folder organization, double OP concepts and standards, dry principle which is don't repeat yourself, our code doesn't repeat anywhere, decoupling between main functionalities, naming conventions, commenting and etc. As problems, we had a privacy issue with the user phone numbers. As the solution, we have hashed the numbers before making the dataset object. Also, we had an issue in developing the GUI because there were very less support for web development frameworks in Python. So, we decided to use a Python library called Dash, which renders HTML inside Python. For the testing part of the library, we did unit testing for all the methods in the module core, the call dataset class. Next, message dataset then call message class next cell dataset finally user class
He have altered the initial project schedule a bit. However, almost all the functional requirements are covered by now, and we are a lot ahead than the project schedule. As you can see, this is the project schedule given initially, and we have done all the functional requirements given in there. So back to what I was saying.